did Godard not give your office the rights to another film that he made, a film like, a film like any other? Yes, did he, he just grant, that Did he just grant that still to you to distribute? Yeah, he gave it to us as a kind of going away present. Yeah, well, we got along very well. Actually, I liked him. I mean, he's probably my favorite filmmaker in the world. So, uh, you know, there's nothing he can do that won't, uh, that won't interest me. Uh, but that was an interesting film because we arranged the showing of the, uh, uh, the uh, Rockefeller Center. Or no, no, Lincoln Center. Lincoln Center. I think of Rock, good Rockefeller building. Mm -hmm. But it, at Lincoln Center. And uh, we, rent, we rented the whole big screening thing there, which is, and the sound isn't very good. And it, this, uh, the, the film came in two reels. It was about <coughs> the, uh, the revolution that took place both of, of, of mostly of school kids not school kids, school people in school in in France, and it was a it was a big revolution, and I I never understood quite what started it, but later uh, Godard told me that when when I brought Monterey over and showed it, and Henri Longo showed it at the Cinematheque, and all his students came to see it, and then they had another screening, and a lot of more students came, but they didn't they just sat there and watched it, and then they went away. Nobody came and said what a wonderful film. So I thought, maybe they don't understand it. And uh, later he said, you know, they didn't see that as a concert film. They saw that as revolution. Because everything that was happening there was against the government, in a way. They, the people playing guitars and throwing, burning themselves up was all, they saw it as a revolutionary activity. So later he said, you started the goddamn revolution. <laughs> so I had to take, uh, I was, uh, talk him out of that. <laughs> Three questions. How did you choose Carol Bellamy? Was it, it wasn't the World Trade Center that was going up. And the third, did you and Ricky shoot the same type of camera? Well, it was a, it was a building up around uh, in the 50s, I think. I, it was off Lexington, I believe. You know, I, I was looking for it the other day, and I, I couldn't find it anymore. There's so many new buildings are there. But... Uh, it, it was just something we picked out, and he said, well, well, we just went over. We didn't even get permission, as far as I know. And there's some he may have, but I didn't know. And we just he got on the elevator, and up he went, and down he went. So it was like, you know, at that point, we did everything he told us to. We wanted to be very good boys and behave ourselves. So we shot 400 feet of everything that happened. That's why it seems to go a little bit longer. It was only until halfway through the film that I began to figure out ways to short circuit it a little bit and to make it, you know, I don't know. I, it wasn't that it wasn't interesting to me, it just, I didn't think there was a market for it. And I didn't think, and, and I was right, uh, PBL did not want to run it. We <laughs> had a wonderful letter from expressing how, how wonderful they thought it was, but it just wasn't suited at that moment. Uh, I could see all the France Fanon lines going down into the firmament there. The follow-up of the second question was uh, about the cameras that you and Ricky Lee Cuff were using. Were they the same, the same model? These are the ones we built. Yeah, they were on the, But you know, he had never shot a camera. He had this marvelous cameraman, and everything shot in 35 and with big cameras, the whole thing. Because that's the way you do everything in, 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 in the movies he was in. And so he said, uh, Jean Luc, I'm going to set up a camera for you with a big long zoom lens. And you can shoot anything you want. And we put it on a tripod, and it's right at the window. You can see him for a minute at it. And those big zooms are all his, you know, he just, the idea, of, I, I, I didn't cut a frame out of that, everything he shot, because it was so marvelous to see him finally get a camera in his hands and see what he'd do with it. And if we had said to him, now there's one problem with using the airplane as their RCA group, and we have to show some kind of sign of the RCA building. If we told him 